when it comes to posturing, a lot of times people will immediately try to posture exactly where they're at. So if I try to just posture from here, this is not great for me, okay? Especially if you consider maybe there's legs and stuff in the way. Okay, so this concept of posturing, the further I am from her, I, I don't want to try to raise my head and posture. Even if you try to do like a squat like this, this still is difficult. The simplest thing we can do, in theory, okay, is just to walk towards it. So we bring our hips to where the grip is. Again, in this situation, she's not uh, controlling my legs. I'm just going to bring my hips towards the grip itself. And now it's easy for me to break. The amount of tension that she feels in the grip in that situation versus here, like, how much tension do you feel there? Not a whole lot. I'm trying, okay? Even if I brace on my leg, I'm trying to posture here. I walk in here, now I'm barely trying to squat, okay? And she wants to let go. All right, so the closer we get with our hips and our lower body, because she has control of the upper body, we have our lower body free. We bring our lower body in to break the grip. If we were flip-flop, right, and she wants to keep me down, so just, she wants to keep me down, she's gonna wanna stay away, okay? So if, uh, if she wants to keep my posture, she's gonna wanna stay away and ultimately, put something in the way, like uh, hooks or... Okay. okay. So if, if she's killing my posture here because she's able to push me away, because she's pushing me away, maybe I could use this to step over the top, get close. It's just a, uh, a concept for now. We're not working on Delahiba passing. Keep that. Okay. But now my hips are close. It's easy to posture. Okay.